This is critical for balancing of uh, the orchestra, balancing of symphonic music. In a simpler um, version of compositions, you would have a melodic line, you would have a rhythmic accompaniment, you would have a, a harmony supporting this, and imagine that we would get, uh, that the balance would be wrong. So what would then happen? You would have the, let's say, the rhythmical um, support would be louder than the melodic line. Then the most important part of the music at that moment, which is the melodic line, is for us non-existent. What does that mean? To give an example from um, visual art. Let's say um, we have a very famous painting, the, the, the Mona Lisa. Everybody knows the, the painting in its original form. But let's say we'll have a very um, a talented artist who would like to give his interpretation, his version of the Mona Lisa. What would happen? He would have to use certain kind of balance between colors, balance of shades, uh, um, perspective, so that the viewer would be able to actually perceive this as a version of the Mona Lisa. Now, if he gets the, let's say, if he gets the balance, I would say, incorrectly, if we get the balance of the colors, of the shades, in such a way that there is no more Mona Lisa in there. It just does, it's not there. So let's say if us uh, as, as viewers, we would look at it, it would, might be a very interesting composition, but it would not be a Mona Lisa anymore. Whereas if the balance is correct, no matter if, if, the, if let's say it's different colors, it's different shades, uh, it's placed possibly in a, different, in a different area, but we'll be able to see, yeah, okay, this is a version of the Mona Lisa. This is critical. This is critical for balancing of, of uh, the orchestra, balancing of symphonic music.